What is up everyone? We're here with another video. It's a different type of video. It's an unboxing, but there's also a little bit extra. The little extra you'll be able to see if you stick around and keep watching. So the story behind this video is Christmas is coming up. My girlfriend wanted a chameleon, which is really weird. Chameleons aren't usually asked for for Christmas or really any other day of the year. So I was like, dude, that doesn't even make any sense. Totally played dumb, but guess what? Look what I got here, a chameleon kit. So I'm going to be unboxing this. Inside this box here we got a little open air black aluminum screen cage, some like bush and some eco carpet and some other crazy stuff. Again, it's a really weird present, but you know, I just wanted to make her happy, so chameleon. So yeah, let's uh, get right into unboxing this bad boy. Let me just whip out my handy dandy knife. Ah! 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 Oh! Shit. Fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna flip this bad boy down. Get right into her. Let's pull out this white box. Oh jeez much more than we could have ever anticipated. Where's that handy dandy knife? Whoa. Careful everyone. Ah! Here we'll just leave this here for later. Ah! Oh. Let's just go ahead and cut through this right here. Ah! Save it for later. Uh oh. Looks a little bit stronger than we anticipated. Ah! Alright, we just shimmy this along this edge right here. Make sure you guys can see. Mm hmm. Just like that. Yep. Oh, not for a second. I thought I cut through some rep to save. Oh, looks like I did. Well, hopefully in due time we learn what this is all about. Blue liquid right there. This must be the Repta safe. Let's go ahead and leave that right here. I mean up here. We don't know what that's for, but we'll find out soon enough. So inside this white box here, oh. We got a digital thermometer. See? Pretty good. Leave that up there. Some uh, naturalistic flora. That means it's like natural and stuff. Uh, not a professional yet, but we will be here soon enough. Right here we got some more naturalistic flora go ahead and show you the 4k quality on this natural bush oh nice and natural leave that right there no uh, shoot gonna go ahead and look at some of this eco carpet because chameleons are used to walking on carpet in the forest and stuff, so we gotta make sure they feel nice at home. Okay. Now right here, it looks like we got some Reptivite. It's like fish oil for humans, but for chameleons. Because they need to have strong bones and such. Here's some Reptic Calcium. It's like fish oil for humans. But for chameleons, so they have strong bones and stuff. Because it's calcium. Meaning, fish oil is meant to give you bad breath and stuff, you know? So we'll go ahead and leave that there. Looks like we done emptied this box out. So we'll move on to the next one. Looks like this is the cage. So we'll get into this right now.
We gotta make sure if it's hollow. Find out where we can stab. Sounds good right about here. Looks like this one doesn't need a good stabbing. So we'll go ahead and pull out the cage. Jesus! a better spot for that so we'll go ahead and actually need this cut through it right here see what I'm doing y'all ah! mmm it honestly smells like cookies and you know what that means that means instead of crickets chameleons eat cookies see a lot of people in life don't pay attention to subtle details. Me, I'm a keen master. You know? So, like, when you smell something, that means someone wants to eat it and such. Oh, wait. Have you guys been watching enough of the video? Where should I put this knife? That's right, right here. Ha! So we'll go ahead and set these up right here. There's a lot of different parts here. that's okay because I'm an engineer so we'll go ahead and set these right here too and these right here too these are what people call instructions we'll use those to set this up okay also I found some of these screws in case you guys didn't see those must be used for something we're gonna go ahead and set that right there and set these right there next to the naturalistic flora now let's get into the building phase okay actually my bad we forgot a part oh Of course, the tropical UVB and heat lighting kit. How could we ever have forgotten? Hey! It's always best to open a box from the underside because no one sees you coming, you know? What if there's like someone hiding in there? How would we like have snuck up on them if we went in through the entrance? God, does anyone here play Rainbow Six Siege? Know what I'm saying? So this looks pretty complicated. Gonna have to call an electrician to fix this one up. Or we could use these instructions. We're gonna set this. Hey! Oh! Right here. Now we have nowhere to put the knife. That's when you use the practical way of putting a knife away, like such. Now, now we get into the building phase. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't speak Spanglish. Huh, huh. English. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh! Look what we have here! A finished cage! Undo the hinges. Voila! Chameleon home. Let's start with some eco carpet. Gotta get my knife. It seems to have ran away from me. There you are. That's what happens when you don't leave it in stuff the correct way. So we're just going to shimmy our way along here, get in here, oh, this is a nice old fashioned carpet, green to remind them of their home, nice familiar texture just like the forest floor, am I right? We're going to put that in there, 
so they can walk in and be like, oh my god, it's like I'm back at PetSmart, oh, you know what I mean? So we'll leave those in there, nice little chameleon carpentry. Then we'll start um, getting into some flexible hanging wire. Let's go ahead and cut right into that, just shimmy along right here. Okay, best place, best place to hang it, I don't really know, nor do I know how we're supposed to hang it, but then again, we're supposed to be simulating the forest, so the forest is a pretty crazy place, so usually you just throw it on in there, I think, I mean, let's just say that our chameleon grew up in a really natural disaster prone area. It was pretty wild. Right? That means it's not a very, I don't know, how do you say, calm area. Okay, so we're going to undo this, make it look like tumbleweed. Maybe our chameleon was a little wild, wild west. Okay. So I'm just going to throw it on in there, like so. So the chameleon remembers... Hey, I remember I used to be a cowboy, you know? But he can't distinguish the two. Cowboy weed versus naturalistic floral weed, you know? I think that's what it's called. Floral weed? Yeah. Here's some nice naturalistic bush. Okay. So this, this, this part reminds the chameleon of the Amazon. So they know, hey, I remember when I used to live in the Amazon. We're going to go ahead and put that right in here. Okay. Oh, pumpkin. Nice of you to join us. Do you want to give it a try? Welcome home. I think she likes it. As you can see, she's sitting in there. She feels very at home. That's just exactly how we want our chameleon to feel like, okay? You can come out now. Come on out. See, we want them to really, really like their home so much that they don't want to leave. Cause then they won't run away. Looks like she's about to lay down. She really likes it in there. But unfortunately, Pump Nyog, this home's for a chameleon, not a kitty. So for you, you get to go in the closet. Hooray! Get in there. Nope. In the in the closet. In the closet. Back to the chameleon home building. This was like such. Extra leaves so the chameleon has someone to play with. Okay, we'll get this garbage on out of here. And now we'll start setting up the lights. If I'm being honest, this is a pretty sad home. I'd be very depressed to live in here. Very, very depressed. But that's okay. Chameleons are known to have above average dopamine. So we should be fine in that department. So let's go ahead and start setting up these lights. First, let's open some boxes here. Ah. Eh. Oh, so this light is a um, Reptisun 5 UVB light. It's meant for uh, 
you know, just giving the reptiles the amount of sun that they need. This is a daylight light. The difference? I don't know. I probably would if I was a reptile, but I'm not. So we just screw these on in there. Get them nice and good in there. I'm going to go ahead and screw this daylight one in there. See, this one's blue. Because where chameleons come from, daylight is always blue. The sun from where they are is blue. That must mean they're from Mars. Let's give it a go. Excuse me, terrarium. Prepare yourself, everyone. Oh, there's a switch, everyone. Hey! Let's give this other one a go. Hey! Undo these cords here. And then set it on top of the cage and get the lights going on. Now that I've got the fixture of the lights both ready to go, once I flip these switches, we will have maximum power. Three, two, one. Oh, maximum power! That's insane. So these are some digital thermometers. Digital thermometer. I'm gonna go ahead and set these bad boys up. If I'm able to shimmy my way along in here. Well, would you look at that? Well, folks, all we gotta do now is go and surprise her with getting a chameleon. We'll get right to that now. What's up everyone? Just got out of school. I'm gonna make my way to PetSmart and buy that chameleon. Got a few questions to ask and I got some other information I need from them. But we'll get that when we get there and I'll see you guys there. Alright boys and girls, we made it to the PetSmart. What's up everyone? So they actually had the little guy in the back. That's why we couldn't see him. And I actually did end up getting quite a bit of stuff. As you can see here. Gonna make this guy have a nice little home. And anyways, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Check this girl out. Oh my god. It's a chameleon. She's looking. He's like, what's, what's going on? He's just, she's just the cutest little fella out there. I guess we'll just set her next to all of her new furniture. Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys once I get home. I'm going to set up her cage. going to look sick because right now from where we're at, she's got like some vines in there. But she's about to have a dope cage at home. So I'll see you guys at home when I'm setting it up, remodeling her cage. See ya. What's up, everyone? We're back here at home. Got my little furniture for her. She's right here. She's chilling. You guys want to check her out? Um, she's just like walking around, having a good time. See her? Oh! Anyways, I'm going to start setting up her cage. But first, I'm going to go over some of the things I got. So this is called a... Uh, Deep dome lamp fixture. It's for uh, these bad guys that I just got too. They're moonlight reptile bulbs. So for nighttime, it like mimics their uh, habitat from when they're in the wild, like I was talking about earlier. So it helps them be able to see at nighttime because it's a moonlight reptile bulb and this is just where we'll plug into. I got some, uh, these are called orange cubes. That's what I feed the crickets, which I'll then feed to the chameleon. This is a water dish so the um, chameleon can have a drink every now and then, you know, when it gets thirsty. This is my favorite part right here. It's a skull because I want my chameleon to grow up kind of, you know, hardcore so it doesn't get like bullied by other chameleons. 
because you know chameleons are pretty rude sometimes. I got a spray bottle so we can spray the moss so the chameleon can have good humidity because chameleons grow up kind of tropical so they like to be humid. Got some little ferns right here so the chameleon can like look around and water its plants and stuff you know. It can like water its plants and show it off to people like oh look in my garden. Yeah. I got two things of vines so it can hang from them and be like Tarzan and stuff have a good time. Oh, I got some like worms. The lady at PetSmart was telling me that these are like treats, it's like dog treats, so if Chameleon's being good, I'll give it some worms, say, oh, good job, you're being a good girl. I also got some moss, so the chameleon can be like, oh, this is some comfy moss, much better than that stupid eco carpet, you know? So I'm going to start setting this stuff up, and then I'll show you guys the finished result. I'll see you guys in a few. Now what I'm going to do is take Mr. Chameleoid and release him to the grasshopper. Look at him. He's like, come on, feed me the grasshopper. Nom, nom, nom. Get on, guy. Look at him. Isn't he just the cutest fella y'all ever seen? He's taking a little nap, everyone. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and release him into the cricket world. Come on, guy. It's time for your new home. Go, my friend. Into your habitat. It's for you. They grow up so fast. Oh, everyone, we gotta run away. You're going the wrong way, yeah. Look at him all the way up there. What a wild spirit. What's up you guys? We got the cage all set up. I texted her, she's gonna be here soon. So now all we gotta do is wait and I'm honestly pretty excited to just see how she reacts and how much she enjoys it. She's gonna be coming through this door. Like I said, I'm really excited. So just a little bit longer and we'll get a reaction. Thanks guys, stay tuned for a little bit more. <gasps> Yay!